All right. Okay. So the the uh, camera cut off. So I had to clear some space. Is what I had to do there. So, anywho, so we have the hangman, Pisces energy. Okay, this is under fulfillment. So someone here, that high-level soulmate, I feel, has been analyzing you. You could have been helping this person awaken as well. Okay, so you could have helped this high-level soulmate go through their awakening, and now they're ascending. Okay, so you will be having a good time here with someone. And they were learning a karmic lesson here, as we all do, right? Let's see what else. We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. You could be letting go of um, a lesson here yourself or you're letting go of something maybe a job or a career that wasn't making much money or these breadcrumbers in your life okay letting go of you know immaturity immature people and leaving them behind right page of wands here okay I see a lot of creativity here as well good times new beginnings crushing i feel like this is a very passionate crush here i feel like this could be your high level soulmate they could be very um artistic here as well you know i'm getting like that fresh canvas they want to um they could see you as a masterpiece as well but they what i'm seeing here is they want to have this good time they're drawing a future between you and them is what I'm seeing here with the Page of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Okay. They want to be around your energy. I feel like this person feels they would have a good time around you. Yeah. Nine of Swords, anxiety here. Okay. Over this wish fulfillment. Very much in their head, but seeing things from a higher perspective. Let's get one more row. Ace of Wands. Look at that. New beginning here. Yeah. Somebody also wants to send you a message here is what I'm seeing. And letting a karmic go. Okay. The death card. Yeah, they're going through a transformation. Okay. This person is like new again is what I'm seeing. They're emerging new. Very passionate too. Very creative here is what I'm getting. Um, and as far as for you guys, you're very creative. I feel like you, you look young for your age as well. Okay, you could be young. Also with a very um, old soul. But whether you're, no matter what age you are, I feel like you have an old soul, but you look young for your age. Alright, and if you are young, you come across as someone quite mature here. And again, I feel like you've had some self-love and you've had a major glow up and transformation in your life. And like I said, you exude passion. Okay, but you're a little intimidating, right? You cause transformation also. You cause chaos without meaning to as well. Okay, it's like what happened to me. I didn't, I didn't cause the chaos. It, the way they were feeling about they were feeling some type of way within themselves and that's what caused the situation but I was having a good time I had I didn't you know what I mean even if it looks like I caused the chaos it wasn't me like I was minding my business so they caused the chaos with whatever was being triggered within them so that's what I'm seeing here it's like you cause chaos but it's because it's your energy your vibration and you're out of reach so it triggers people you're you're not just going to say yes to any anybody that just ask you out i mean if that was the case boy can you imagine the weirdos we would be entertaining yeah eight of cups yeah and if anybody causes you some type of anxiety i feel like you analyze it you see it from a higher perspective and if it's not your wish fulfillment you walk away if you don't feel like this person would emotionally fulfill you you would walk away yeah you're looking for that ten of cups yeah somebody committed okay 
So there could be a, a this high level soulmate here. But be careful with somebody also showing up as the shiny thing. We have the devil. Okay. And some of you, you're focused on the coin. And your family at this time. Walking away from the bullshit. Okay, anything low vibrational. Yeah, you analyze this, the shit out of this. Okay, if somebody's coming to you with just passion, you're analyzing it. Okay, now if you're an attractive man and you get hit on a lot by low vibrational karmics, you're also going within to analyze it. You're, you're quite wise with the hermit here and the king of wands. Yeah. Some of you could be in the public eye or this is somebody analyzing you. All right, obsessively also. Somebody has obsessive thoughts about you here. We have two people here as well. King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's very into the materialistic world. It could be quite materialistic here. With the King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Devil. Okay? So be careful with this type of energy too. Somebody coming in a little too shiny. They might have other issues. Okay? Obsessed with power, money, fame. So be careful. And then you have somebody here. That could be in the public eye with the star and the king of wands. That's leader energy. But right now they're in transformation mode. So this could be your high level soulmate. Working on themselves healing. Okay. They could be analyzing your energy as well. They see you as someone pure. Or someone that has a healing vibe. Maybe you, you have some sort of. Maybe they see that you're a star seed here. Some sort of energy here. They see you as their star cross lover as well. Yeah, this is somebody coming in with fast communication. This could be a quick trip. So you could be dealing with high-level soulmate and someone else here. Now, we do have the Seven of Swords. So there's trickery here when it comes to two people. So one is real, one is a trick. One is karmic. I told you, you have a karmic energy around you as well. And we have the world. Okay, so there's a new chapter that's going to be beginning here. Yeah. But you want equal giving and receiving. Okay. But somebody's coming in here with a deceiving energy. They're working on the on on something tricky. Whoever's coming towards you, and it could be this King of Wands, I'm not sure. Let me analyze this energy. Because this is kind of weird. And then we have somebody here that's obsessed with... They're, they are a family person. They are a provider. Okay? They do commit. But this is probably someone that's never going to be home because they're too busy chasing the coin. Okay? Is what I'm seeing here. This could also be a married man here. But I feel like for some of you, most of you, this is just someone here that is too obsessed. They overwork. They're too obsessed. They're, they, they have a fear of being broke is what I'm seeing here. And it's okay. But do you want somebody that's never going to be around but they can provide everything for you? Or do you want someone that's actually going to have equal giving and receiving here? But there is something, yeah, there's something under the moon here. And there, I feel like Spirit's trying to block something here. And it's this trickery here. It's almost like somebody's trying to get to you before someone else here gets to you. Or one of these people are tricky. So let's see here. You do have a star-crossed lover, clearly. Okay, with equal giving and receiving. There could be three people here. But something is being blocked from coming to you is what I'm seeing. Yeah, somebody's trying to poke holes in your boat. Because you're moving forward and you're moving towards something um, prosperous, abundant after a time of, um, you know, being the wounded warrior here. Or that's somebody coming to you. Yeah, Leo energy. That could be your high-level soulmate here. King of Wands. But what is this trickery is what I want to know. Because I see a new beginning here. With one of these people. But there is 
the devil's in the details here. That could just mean that. Definitely the devil is in the details here. So let's see what this is. Why is the devil in the details? We're going to clarify um, this king of wands energy. And we're going to clarify this king of pentacles energy. And what's up with this the devil in the details? Because I feel this is somebody else here. Also with the knight of swords and the seven of swords. You got a lot of tricky energy around you. So spirit, let me see. I know what I want to use also. Let's get a couple here. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Okay, so this King of Pentacles, they could have children or they are a giver here. But they work really hard. Okay, and they could be experiencing a tower moment. Maybe they were married to a karmic. Okay, or this is just going to shock you in a good way. The Empress, the Sun, and the Tower. Okay. So they could have went through some karma here. Or something got destroyed there. Their foundation got shooken up. Again, you, meeting you could have caused chaos also is what I'm getting. Because we had chaos in the very beginning of this reading. You could have came in like a storm, like a tornado, like this tower moment. But it's to cause enlightenment, happiness, joy. Okay, is what I'm seeing with this King of Pentacles. Wealthy person here. Definitely they have children. This could be somebody um, you were married to also. But the tower hit because it was karmic for some of you. But we're going to see what that is. Tell me about this devil. Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords. Ace of, Ace of Swords here. And this was like this. So I feel like this is somebody's tricky. They're lying here. But the truth will be revealed. Yeah, this could be somebody that owes you an apology or something like that. What is this? So the devil's in the details here. Yeah, this is a karmic. With the cycle here. This could have been the lesson here. Be careful, somebody here could be trying, somebody you let go of could be trying to apologize to get laid. Okay, with all this treat yourself place, uh, nude energy, with the devil of the seven of swords and the knight of swords. Somebody's trying to sneak in to lie about something to get you in the bed. Um, it could be Aquarius, uh, Capricorn. Um, we have Leo, Taurus energy here. Yeah, this is somebody you already walked away from. So I don't feel like it's this. We'll, we'll see. Let's get one more there. Emperor. Somebody's, oh, somebody wants to lie to you and say that you you were destined to be with them. This is a false twin. This is a false twin energy. But I feel like you already know the truth. This is somebody you walked away from. They're going to try to tell you that they're your emperor. That they found out that they are your divine masculine. No, this person ain't divine. This this is a false twin with the devil and the emperor, seven of swords, and the wheel of fortune. This is a cycle. This ain't no husband. Okay? This is a fake-ass husband. No. This, this ain't your destiny. This could have been your lesson, but it ain't your, it ain't your divine masculine. Mm-mm. That's somebody you already walked away from. You already learned that lesson. Somebody's thinking that they can fool you. This is definitely somebody that could have got very triggered because you're out of reach. And they feel like you're out of their league. Queen of Wands. Okay. Leo, Leo um, Aries, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Yeah. You have a soulmate here. You have options. You have a lot of options here. And you're very patient. Yeah, five of wands, options. 
Somebody sees you as very balanced, okay? You're trying to keep your balance also when it comes to these options. What was the card that we have? Undecided. In this lifetime, you were given the opportunity to fully explore your options to prepare you for the next. As a result, you may experience many new adventures. Meaning you, you don't have to stay with just one person here. Especially if they're not the right person. You have options. Yeah, they're all watching. And some of them want to get laid. King of Wands definitely wants this energy. Pulling them in like crazy. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, with justice. So yeah, this King of Wands is your justice. So I feel like you can't be with somebody over here because they could be possibly married, this King of Pentacles. And they're very focused on the material gain and family. But you came in like chaos here. But for some reason, they're not making a move. So Spirit's bringing you a high-level soulmate here. And this person's all into you. This is vibrational match. This is somebody that's that wants a family here with you. Or this is also a wealthy person. This also could be somebody in the public eye with the star here. And the world. Okay? But they're like going through this transformation. This is definitely your high-level soulmate here. Some of you could be dealing with a twin that's married, and this is why. And they're very focused on their family and material gain. But you did come in like, you know, like like the storm. I feel like this is your justice. Is this king of wands. You have many options. Yeah, this person is holding back because they're healing. Four of pentacles, holding on to this offer they want to give you. Holding on to your energy. This high level soulmate. They're healing. Working on themselves. Yeah. And again, public eye energy. Um, this person could be a mentor, a leader, a teacher as well with the Hierophant and the Six of Wands here. Definitely, King of Wands and the star in the world. I feel like this high-level soulmate is, is in the right energy. They're healing. So you're holding back to see what's coming at you. And definitely this past energy is a fake twin. They're trying to tell you that they're your twin. They're not. This person could be your twin over here, this King of Pentacles. But they're married. They're, wor they're focused on their money and family at this time. But you, they see you as the, their twin. You bring a lot of joy and happiness into their life as far as your energy. They see you as high vibes. But they feel like maybe being with you would create chaos. Okay? This high-level soulmate wants to be with you. They're, they're your vibrational match with the king and queen of wands here. It's a very passionate connection. And it is a soulmate. Six of Cups past life connection. And, you know, you have options. Two of Pentacles, five of wands. But somebody here, that's that Knight of Swords energy again that we have here. Somebody here is trying to come in between, be, before somebody else gets in here first. But yeah, what the leap of faith you take is going to lead you in the right direction. With the Fool, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. People see you as wifey, husband. And they want to take a leap of faith with you. And again, we got Page of Wands, Hangman, Energy, with the Death card again. So cards are repeating themselves. Transformation, Awakening going on here. Somebody's like reborn here. Seeing things differently. Yeah, you got a Secret Crush here. Page of Cups with the Moon. What's, what's there? Yeah. When you're done, you're done. Okay, so you walked away from somebody. Yeah, somebody's going true, true north here. And people are going to be jealous and in their shadow with the Five of Swords and the Devil. Because they have mental entrapment here. You're causing quite the stir, Collective. Indeed. Um, let me get some energy here and then we'll we'll get some messages here.
Yeah, this person has anxiety. Your high level soulmate here. But they are working on themselves. Yeah. The higher font. They also could have been dealing with the karmic, which is what we were getting earlier with the shadow here. And they're definitely closing out that chapter in their life, or they have. They're working on healing. Yeah. Anxious about this communication or what's coming in. Here's the lies. There's somebody lying here. I feel like they're under a psychic attack. Somebody's lying. They got some naysayers around them, keeping them in their hood here. About making this move and talking to you. Yeah, they're at the crossroads. Okay, so somebody's trying to sway this person a different way. They know you're single. Okay, this is this could be a long distance connection, especially with the two of wands, the three of wands, and the world here. Oceans apart. Yeah, they got betrayed and learned a major lesson by a karmic. It was lustful. So you got people, you transform people's life. You come in like the storm. You are the storm, definitely. Um, let's get an energy for who these people are here. about this king of pentacles something flipped right sure felt like it I guess not Yeah, constrained. Yeah, this person has a family here. It says constrained. They will make you feel restricted and tied down, leaving you feel like you have little room to break to breathe in the connection. Yeah, this person is married. This King of Pentacles. And accusations. They have a hard time taking accountability and resort to finger pointing. They will blame you for anything that um, seems to go wrong. Yeah, they're dealing with a karmic, unfortunately. Um, I feel like meeting you or seeing you has caused a major rift in their connection. Okay, with the tower, they're experiencing a tower moment in their, um, in their marriage. But it's not because of you, okay? You're high vibing over here. I feel like it's because you are their twin. You are their divine feminine. But they're dealing with a karmic marriage. Yeah, this is somebody you were waiting on. They are dragging their feet in this connection because they feel like you will wait around for them to get their act together. Yeah, no. And it's that could be further from the truth, okay? Because you're you're gonna meet a high level soulmate while they're taking their sweet time, worried about their money and dealing with some karmic bullshit. Okay? So clearly this is somebody that has been quite wishy washy and they're not sure that they should go for this because they're already married with children. But you got a high level soulmate here doing the work, looking at you. Okay, they want to come to you, and this is a vibrational match with the King and Queen of Wands here, and the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups, because we saw the Ten of Cups here as well. So, let's see what this energy is here in the middle with the Devil. This could also mean, no, never mind, yeah. This could also mean that they're married to a karmic that's lying to them, and this could be the same energy, and that's your Emperor, because we have the Empress here with the Sun. And they're dealing with someone that's li a liar and a trickster. And it's a cycle here. And they're being lied to because this was in reverse. Even though I don't do reversals in these these types of decks. But that's what I'm seeing. So they're dealing with a karmic energy. Someone that restricts them. They feel um, controlled by this person. But let's get a, um, a card for that. 
for those of you where it's the other way where somebody you walked away from here a long time ago wants to come back to apologize for some of you it's a karmic trying to apologize to this person to get them to stay with them yeah territorial they will <laughs> they will state claims on you and should they ever lose you they will make it very difficult for anyone else to have a chance with you yeah th this person's dealing with a karmic and for others of you because for, for some of you I'm seeing this together they're dealing with a karmic wife and for some or or you know long-term connection and others of you this is a past person you walked away from that's trying to portray to be your twin when they're not okay but that could be the situation that that king of Pentacles is going through and I'm hearing that Madonna song living in the material world material oh material world yep so they're dealing with that let's see what else there yeah see this this would be a perfect match but they're not getting it together this is a compatible match where balance and harmony can exist in unity you you complement each other perfectly one another perfectly you see what I mean this is why you're undecided this is your perfect match but they're dealing with a karmic situation a territorial bitch at that or female karmic or male karmic take it how it resonates but this would be your perfect match but they're not ready that's why a high-level soulmate is here so and you have the option the opportunity to fully explore your options okay to prepare you for the next so I feel like that you're meant to meet this high-level soulmate. And they were dealing with a liar here as well. So what's going on with this high-level soulmate? We have soothing. Their energy will bring a sense of calmness over you, taking away all your worries and anxieties and make you feel like you can be at ease and relax in their presence. Okay, so this person has a soothing energy. Okay, so this is a good person here. Yeah, they got bored with the karmic is what I'm getting. With boring, the excitement of the connection will die out fast and you may find yourself feeling bored and discontent within it. So let's see here. Everybody dealing with karmics. Yeah, this is a secret admirer okay it says they have been lurking and keeping a close eye on you because they want you but just aren't sure how to approach the situation so this person wants you they're just not sure how to approach it and temptation there's a lot of passion here I feel here this person will excite your energy and tempt you to try new things they will encourage you to leave your comfort zones and all your inhibitions behind Temptation, it's a part of life. It doesn't matter if it's wrong or right. It makes you do the things you know. Anything else here? Yeah, this is the one. Wow. They're dealing with an energy vampire. Energy vampire? The way they tap into your energy will leave you feeling completely drained at times like the life has been sucked right out of you yeah that's what they're dealing with here with the uh, five of swords seven of swords the energy vampire energy liar deceiver and but you are the one because you're the high level soulmate this is your person with the high level soulmate it could have been this person but it looks like they are going to repeat a chapter in their life that they did in a past lifetime is what it looks like so I'm not sure that that person has the balls to let go of this karmic your twin is what I'm feeling here high-level soulmate twin flame um, for some of you you're dealing with one situation or the other some of you it's both okay because undecided is here so they see you as the person that is meant for them and the only one they could picture having a happy life with so this person sees you as the one and they see you as someone that would bring joy and happiness into their life not lies and deception like this other um, 
yeah, this other karmic with addictions. They have certain addictions and codependencies that will influence the connection negatively if not worked on and kept in check. And this is exactly what they're working on because they had to raise their vibration. That's why you're meeting this high-level soulmate. But it's when they raise their vibration and they're doing the work with the star and the eight of pentacles here and the four of swords. Yeah. Wow. Got a lot going on here. Now, I want to get some messages for your twin and your high-level soulmate. Because I feel like, for some of you, this is your twin dealing with this karmic. And others of you, you have someone, a fake twin that you met in the past wanting to apologize and come back. And maybe, or trying to tell you that they're your twin when they're not. A lot going on here. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? Who is this? And what's going on with them? We have Celibate. And I wonder what excites you. Hmm. I feel like they know you're Celibate. Yeah, it says, I have to admit I would be protective over you, but not in a bad way. I don't think it's, I mean, they could be celibate. They're probably not sleeping with that karmic. But yeah, they're desiring you. Yeah. There's a lot of desire for you by many energies here. So I feel like they're not sleeping with this karmic, but this karmic is like, they don't want to let them go. But the tower's here. There's divine intervention here. It just might take longer than, you know, then you might have wanted or hoped here, and because a high-level soulmate is here for a reason, but it might be you, you, they might come in at the same time, and then you have to make up your mind. So I don't know. That's going to be a tough one. Or your high-level soulmate is coming in first, and then all of a sudden, once you're in a connection, this person's ready. It's like, damn. <laughs> but hey, once you're in love with someone here, it, it, it is what it is. Yeah, allow me to muster up the courage to ask you out. And moving forward, no going back. Yeah, so whoever this person is right here, they're, yeah, the tower is there. So they want you, but this might be taking a little long. Yeah, they're dealing with a karmic soulmate. Lessons, hardships, toxic. So definitely this would be your twin. They want to know if you take a leap of faith with them. And they're moving forward, not going back to that person. They were dating in open relationships, okay? Or their karmic was, because it does say, well, worth it. I feel like that was the karmic energy. And we've picked up on this energy before, because we have the Seven of Swords, the devil, with somebody territorial here. Now, maybe they did have an open relationship. I don't know. The devil was in the details here. Yeah, they're closing out a cycle. They could see you as well worth it. They're, but I feel like this person was committed to someone here that was treating them like shit is what I'm seeing. Yeah, exactly. Your twin flame. Can't make this shit up. Yeah, they think they're falling in love with you. Whew. Yeah, I feel like it would be a nervous wreck around you. Okay, this is that also that energy that you have. The tower, you make people nervous with the sun and the empress. Alright. Now, let's see what's going on here with this high-level soulmate. I think I'm obsessed with you. Why are you so obsessed with me? Oh. Yeah, they're unavailable, so they're still dealing with that karmic. But they're in hermit mode. They're awakening, is what I'm seeing. It will crush me to see you with someone else. 
Yeah, high level soulmate. They're unavailable. So this person is moving forward, closing out a chapter in their life, not going back, your twin, and then you have this high level soulmate that's unavailable. That's why you're undecided. You have options here. Man. Yeah, worries and doubts. Ex wife, ex husband. So they were married too. And we have your crushing on each other, so you may know who this is. I feel like you're available. Or when they're when they're having when they finally get a divorce here, this will be somebody you would also crush on, or you're crushing on each other. I don't know. It's like I'm coming, they're planning on coming to you when they're available. They're thinking of you. They want to turn this fantasy into a reality, but right now it's bad timing. Okay, this is somebody that's not going to be ashamed of being with you. They see you as their equal, but they got to go through this breakup. Okay, but then you have this masculine moving forward, not going back with this karmic soulmate, but this bitch is territorial, and they keep, they keep trying to lie to this person to keep them stuck. Now, for those of you who are dealing with someone that you walked away from and wants to portray to be your divine masculine emperor here, when they're not, whether it's a male or female, let's see. You are incredibly so attra you are so incredibly attracted. They're still attracted to your energy. Crushing on you. Crushing on you still. And they're into open relationships. So that's a player. They've tried reaching you. Okay. So that's somebody you walked away from where you're not going back and you're like, no. Yeah. They're never getting a divorce here. They're just a player. They like open relationships is what I'm seeing here. And they've been watching you on social media for months, years for some of you. Yeah. This could be someone maybe you didn't quite give a chance to because you knew they were a player. But they're watching you through the internet somehow. Could be through fake accounts for some of you. And it's like, they just know you guys would hit it off, yeah, but they're never going to get a divorce from whoever they're with. This is the kind of person that just cheats. They like open relationships. Um, whoever that past person is. Alright, guys. Hold on, let me uh, clear this up here. So, some of you, whew. It's like, who's who's gonna win here? Who is gonna win? Okay, this reading took a left. <laughs> but hey, you know, I wanted to make sure I clear it up for those of you who are wondering what what kind of energy is surrounding you at this time. Okay, that's why I went into the whole vibration thing. Your vibration is attracting the perfect match. You also have the one here. So, it's like... Who's it going to be? Twin, high-level soulmate. Your high-level soulmate is still unavailable. Your twin looks like they're going through the divorce now, and they're over here having fights, accusing each other of whatever. They're feeling locked down because this person keeps lying and deceiving and trying to keep them stuck. They're territorial as fuck, trying to make it hard for them. And they don't want to bring you this drama is what I see. They see happiness with you. Okay, they see this would be a perfect match. And we have the Emperor here, but they're dealing with chaos. With a karmic, a karmic soulmate. And then we have you over here, King of Wands. Where's that other one? King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy with the one. So it's like, <laughs> what do you do with all of that? You know, 
I, I don't I don't know what to tell you guys. Well, your high level soulmate is unavailable. Looks like it's almost like there's a race. To, okay, so who's who's gonna be available first? Who's gonna be available first? In the meantime, you're just having a good time. I mean, I'm sure you're not gonna pick this past person. This past person is a uh, is a player. You already learned that lesson. But they're still crushing on you. Trying to get into your pants. Wow. So I feel like no matter who you get with, you're going to trigger people here because they they still feel like you're out of their league. Alright, let me clear this energy here and we'll get into just a few cards here. And then we'll call it a day. Whew. I'm also seeing that these these person, um, whoever these people are, are highly fantasizing about you. They can't get it up for their karmics. They, they're they not sleeping with these karmics. They're fantasizing about you. I feel like they're self-pleasuring, fantasizing about you. And if they are having sex with the karmic, I don't think this king of pentacles is. They're celibate. But this high level soulmate, if they are, they're thinking about you. Okay. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about you. Alright, let's get a couple more cards about your energy here. And then we will leave it there. I know it's already a long reading. Maybe I'll post it in two parts. So we have Lord Byron. Be mad, bad, and dangerous to know. <laughs> Love will find a way through paths where wolves fear to pray. Friendship is love without his wings. Mm. So be mad, bad, and dangerous to know. So you a bad bitch? A bad, um, um big dick energy whoever you are you are dangerous to know <laughs> love will find a way through paths where wolves fear to prey so all these people that feel like you're out of reach the wolves in sheep's clothing they fear they fear you too much to invest in you in the right way they'll sleep with you but they will not invest in the relationship because you're just clearly out of their league you're vibrationally you're those are low vibrational energies so they can't even they, they could want to but they know they can't pull the wool over your eyes all right friendship is love without his wings it's almost like true friendship is sacrificial in a way Friendship is love without his wings. It's like... I feel like that's your energy. Like, you would sacrifice part of yourself or, or, or you did in the past to be there for someone. Okay, so you understand what true friendship is, what true compassion is, what the nature of truly being there for someone is like, is what I'm getting. And we have Henry. 
Henry the Eighth, didn't he behead his wife? His wives, okay? It says, act like a gentleman, and you'll feel like a king. A rose that has thorns. A rose has thorns. Cultivate kinder flowers. <laughs> Loving a great deal means sacrificing a great number. So there's the sacrifice again. Act like a gentleman or a gentlewoman, and you'll feel like a king or queen. A rose has thorns, right? Meaning you're beautiful, but you do prick. Not easy to hold. So what do they do? They might have to cultivate kinder flowers. Loving a great deal means sacrificing a great number, meaning some people aren't willing to sacrifice a great number to love a great deal. Because as beautiful as you are, as sharp are your thorns, and some people just can't handle it. It takes a true person to admire the rose and to hold it no matter the prick. Okay? So somebody has to really love roses when it comes to you because kinder flowers just won't do. Okay? That's what I'm seeing here. So they can have 8, 9, 10, 12 wives, husbands, or however many lovers. But there's only one of you. Okay? Joanne Collins here. Beauty is power, so use it rather than lose it. Age is just a number, irrelevant, unless it's a vintage wine. Everyone is a potential character for a novel. So there you go. So create your own love story. It's still a great story to tell and a great story to live. You have many options. Maybe your life is meant to be a little bit chaotic. Okay? Life is not meant to be perfect. It's meant to be lived and experienced. Spirit's about to spice it up. And, you know, with that kind of energy, that kind of options that you have, it's bound to cause some chaos. It's already causing chaos within other connections. Just by you simply being you. You're not even involved in these connections. But they're going through their own karmic situations. You're actually the peace, not the chaos. But you create the chaos unbeknownst to you as well. It's just, that's your energy. But you are spiritually connected to both of these people. So that's why you're causing chaos within your spiritual connections. Because you're here to transform the energy to raise the vibration to help them heal and be a better version of themselves essentially with that empress and the sun <laughs> absolutely so it's bound to piss some karmics off absolutely but that's the way it's meant to be whether they get it or not if you get it you get it if you don't well you don't all right guys well your life's about to get a little interesting <laughs> Good luck. Let me know in the comments if you resonate. And I will uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.